Let's start with the definition. According to the Basel Committee in the context of a financial or banking institution, operational risk is the risk of loss resulting from inadequate or failed internal processes, people and systems or from external events. This definition includes legal risk, but excludes strategic and reputational risk. The Basel Committee recognizes that operational risk is a term that has a variety of meanings and therefore, for internal purposes, banks may adopt their own definitions of operational risk, provided that the minimum elements are included in the committee's definition. This positive definition, adopted by the European Solvency II Directive for Insurers, is a variation of the one adopted in the Basel II regulations for banks. Previously, operational risk was defined negatively in Basel I, that is, operational risk is all risks that are not market risk or credit risk. Therefore, some banks have also used the term operational risk as a synonym for non-financial risks. In October 2014, the Basel Committee on Banking Supervision proposed a revision of its operational risk capital framework that establishes a new standardized approach to replace the basic indicator approach and the standardized approach for calculating operational risk capital. It may also include other kinds of risks, such as fraud, security, privacy protection, legal, physical risks, for example, closure of infrastructure, or environmental risks. Similarly, operational risks affect customer satisfaction, reputation, and shareholder value, while increasing business volatility. Unlike other risks, for example, credit risk, market risk, liquidity risk, operational risks are not usually incurred voluntarily or based on income. Furthermore, these are not diversifiable and cannot be disregarded. This means that as long as people, systems and processes remain imperfect, operational risk cannot be completely eliminated. Operational risk is nonetheless manageable to keep losses within a certain level of risk tolerance, that is, the amount of risk one is willing to accept in pursuit of its objectives, determined by balancing the costs of improvement with the expected benefits. Broader trends such as globalization, the expansion of the internet and the rise of social media, as well as increasing demands for greater corporate responsibility around the world, reinforce the need for proper operational risk management. The Basel II definition of operational risk excludes, for example, strategic risk, the risk of a loss arising from a poor strategic business decision. Other types of risk are considered as possible consequences of operational risk events. For example, reputational risk, which consists of damage to an organization through loss of reputation or prestige, may arise as a consequence, or impact of operational failures, as well as other events. The seven types of official Basel II events are listed below with some examples for each category. 1. Internal fraud, misappropriation of assets, tax evasion, intentional wrong marking of positions, bribery. 2. External fraud, information theft, piracy damage, theft and counterfeiting of third parties. 3. Work practices and workplace safety, discrimination, workers' compensation, health and safety of employees. 4. Customers, products and business practices, market manipulation, antitrust practices, improper trading, product defects, fiduciary breaches, account shaking. 5. Damage to physical assets, natural disasters, terrorism, vandalism. 6. Business disruption and system failures, utility outages, software failures, hardware failures. 7. Execution, delivery and management of processes, data entry errors, accounting errors, failed mandatory reports, negligent loss of customer assets.